Hello and welcome to the Security Zone here at Google Next. We're here with Maya, an expert in infrastructure security. Thanks for being here, Maya. Thank you for having me, Cassie. So I'm so glad that you're here because I would love to know more about how you provide security for users and employees at Google. Of course. By some accounts, Google's network delivers more than 25% of internet traffic, so our infrastructure is super critical. And security is one of our highest priorities for that global infrastructure. So if I'm running a business, how do I use Google Cloud infrastructure to protect my data? Let's walk through an example. To start off, say you upload a file into Google Drive from your Pixelbook. I so have this photo of a really cute dog here, and I want to save that for later. So I'll just drag that into Google Drive, and it uploads. And that happened super fast. But let's break down what happened to that file and how it was secured along the way. Let's do it. So when you connect to a Google service over the internet, Google requires that the connection is encrypted. That means the data that you sent to Google will be encrypted in transit, so it can't be read by malicious third party. Connections to Google services come into our network through Google front end servers, which terminate your connection and provide encryption using the HTTPS protocol. So my data is encrypted in transit to Google without me having to do anything. Yeah, that's right. The Google front end also routes your request to the right service. So once it's inside Google's infrastructure, your data travels over our network backbone and might go to another location. Let's say that in your case, to reach its destination, your file travels across a Google-owned undersea cable. You mean one of these things? Exactly. Those are undersea cables that we have um, under the sea. And so you'll see there, there's a, a fiber optic cable right in the middle, surrounded by multiple uh, layers of steel. And they even have you know, shark-proof armor and rubber coverings, because that's, that's an issue that we have to encounter. Google operates one of the largest backbone networks in the world. It connects our data centers with, with hundreds of thousands of miles of fiber optic cable. The blue lines here represent the current Google network, and the green lines indicate new network cables that Google is developing. So the file has been encrypted in transit to Google's network and then sent to the right place over Google's global private network. So what happens to the file next? Next, we'll store the file that you uploaded on one of Google's servers. Customer content stored by Google Cloud services, like Google Drive, is encrypted at rest by default. Here's how that works. The file that we uploaded is first chunked broken up into pieces, and each chunk is encrypted with its own data encryption key. Each data encryption key is then wrapped using a key encryption key, which is stored centrally. The encrypted chunks and their keys are distributed across Google's storage infrastructure for security and reliability. If your file is updated, it's re-encrypted with a new key rather than reusing the existing key. As a result of this process, if a bad actor wanted to access data, they would not only need all the pieces of the file, which are spread out across multiple servers, but they would also need access to all of the keys. So the file is automatically encrypted at rest on Google servers. That's right, without you having to take any action. Let's take a look into the servers protecting the file and how they're protected. We design our own hardware at Google, as well as our own software, to make sure that we have complete control over our infrastructure. Google servers contain a custom Google Titan security chip. Titan helps to make sure that no unauthorized machines or software operate on our network. If Titan is not present or Titan can't verify the integrity of the server software, the server will not boot. That means a malicious actor can't start up a fake service, for example, and get access to your data. If everything is as expected, the machine comes online and is ready for action. This is a real Titan chip. There are chips like these in servers across Google's infrastructure that protect Google's servers like the one I uploaded a file to. These servers sit in Google-owned data centers. The physical security of these data centers is yet another level of protection. Google data centers include metal detectors, secure access cards, and biometric scanners. Data centers are monitored 24-7 by high-resolution interior and exterior cameras, have large fences, some threatening local wildlife like alligators in some locations, and vehicle access barriers to protect unauthorized entrance into the data center. So let's summarize the whole thing then. The file we uploaded is encrypted in transit when it's traveling outside our physical boundaries, encrypted at rest by default, and protected in Google designed and owned servers, security chips, and data centers. Exactly, and millions of files are being uploaded every day to Google Cloud that are being protected by this global infrastructure. Well, thanks Maya for taking us through the journey a file takes as it makes its way securely from the device to the data center. My pleasure.